hello everyone welcome back to our channel and today in this video we are going to talk about the lens effects in nuke so the recently i did uh, this full cg comp tutorial slash breakdown video so in that one i show you the entire script in this one uh, i use uh, the lens effect which we basically uh, simulating the camera characteristic when we are uh, actually shooting uh, this kind of shot through the actual camera so what is the lens effect and and why we have to consider that one uh, when we are comping uh, any shot in nuke especially when it comes to the cg part so as you can see i have a sticker here so as you can see in this one i rated down the some of the lens effect you should add while you are comping so as you can see so the glow and the diffusion so the glow also is uh, uh, lens effect you can you can say that because in real life we can see the glow but when we see through subject through the camera you will see the glow is different looking and it's behaving uh, differently slightly and the diffusion also you can see in this scene and the light trap so the light trap also is a lens effect i mean it's not happening in real life so when we see through the camera that time we can see so as you can see in this one i added a lens i added this light trap effect in here and uh, this lens dots as the name said lens dots so it's based on the camera lens you can see i added some lens dot here and here i will show you in this comp and now the lens flare obviously we everyone knows the lens flare so this is the lens flare we have here and the softness so the softness means how much sharp your image is if i zoom in you can see this thing is not uh, pixel sharp okay but if i show you the actual cg of this thing now now you can see it's way too sharp i mean you can see the every pixel right but in reality if you check any any photography image or any video uh, that will not that thing is not pixel sharp you we have to add some softness so this is the thing we need to add softness just like we, we can add one or two pixel blur so everything should be even if uh, if the thing is in a focus it should uh, have some some kind of softness and then we have this chromatic aberration so the chromatic aberration is also a very lens effect so this this will happen most mostly of the this anamorphic and the wide angle lens so in this one i also added chromatic aberration if you can see we can see some coloration in the edges as you can see and it's mostly happening to the edges i mean this outer side you you will not gonna see them in the center part you only see in the edges you see the ship as you can see i added a chromatic aberration here also and then we have this vignetting so uh, unfortunately i didn't add this in this scene so it's basically like you have to darken the edges i mean this side i mean this circle shape this edges you can darken so it's uh, vignetting and the, obviously the lens distortion everyone knows added a lens distortion because every lens have some amount of lens distortion especially the wide angle lens have a lot of lens distortion so i added a lens distortion in this one also and the lastly the grain if you zoom in as you can see we have a grain here so let's see the one by one so as you can see the first the glow and the light trap and the diffusion thing so if you check this comp here I will show you so till here we don't have any lens effect okay if i zoom in as you can see everything is pixel sharp you can see the individual pixels here and i think i added a uh, defocus that's why this one is getting uh, this kind of blur but everything is sharp there is as you can see there is no softness here and also the far one as you can see you can see the pixel line even you can see this one so if you are that far away you can't see these things these lines so we need we need to add some kind of blur in the sky it's already there as you can see we have some softness and all that stuff so till here i have my comp here all these things are lens effect except uh, the camera shake camera shake is not we are not calling it's a lens effect it's a it's a name said it's a camera shake right we are uh, physically moving the camera and we are getting that shake it's not a lens effect it's an outside thing so we are calling this thing camera shake so uh, as you can see this first backdrop i have this uh, glow and diffusion so as you can see we are transforming this image so this is the final comp from here and with the lens effect and everything we get this let's forgot this transformation let's see the grain as you can see it's coming from here to here pretty big difference right let's see one by one so the first thing what i add is just this uh, glow as you can see i added a bit more as you can see so you can see it here also as you can see i basically did a gear and the exponential glow and saturation and how much i want the amount is 0.4 only 
it's not required it more that much that this is this is uh, a lot i don't need that much so i did uh, 0.4 and i plus okay so this is the first one first glow and this one is diffusion so see amount is very less if, if i expose you can see so it's basically i'm just clamping this thing and uh, doing a blur so the blur amount is 500 and this very subtle amount if i zoom in a bit you can see that effect so everything is lifting so basically and we are adding a little bit of diffusion here through this uh, blur blur uh, idea and then i added uh, this uh, lens effect as you saw here we have to add a lens effect so lens uh, lens flare so i added a lens flare here and then again i added a soft uh, diffusion so this is the actual diffusion node with the lens effect lens flare as you can see so if i zoom in a bit you can see the amount is very subtle i mean it's only 0.5 it's doing the same thing blurring the image and we are adding 0.5 and then i did a crop so till here you will see it's getting the look so from here to here as you can see big difference right so what we have the next so next is lens dot so as you can see i combine these two images it's from action vfx and i did uh, uh, i, I remove the saturation first and uh, i did a background blur and just multiply this thing so i can get the actual color in inside this lens lens dot and then i added alpha because here the alpha is white so i need that proper alpha and then i reduce the amount and then just over it so as you can see it's there if i off and on as you can see so we have this lens dot so we call this lens dot as i said so i added a chromatic aberration so chromatic aberration will, will affect everything the lens dot and everything so if i zoom in a bit now you will see so this is the chromatic aberration as you can see we are basically stretching the pixels so we can see the individual colors as you can see you can see the colors here and it's also blurring the image because in the edges it's mostly happening but in the center you will not gonna see much as you can see it's there but it's very less okay it's also uh, uh, doing some softness so i'm using this ap chroma you can find this if you have a wikipedia all the tools which i use in this comp you can find if you have this uh, nuke server toolkit okay so after that i added this camera shake right so for that camera shake i mean it's just a camera shake so you don't need to do anything after that i added a lens distortion which is very important if i show you before and after as you can see see that before and after so before we have very perfect aligned image and now we have stretch out so this is i manually created how much i want using this this values here i added that much and in the end i added a grain so when you add a grain everything is looking very good as you can see so we are came from this image to this image with just lens effects as you can see i want to show you the light up thing because the light up i added not here because it's not possible to add light up here because here everything is merged already if i view from here now so we have a rock here so here as you can see i added a light up to this rock and this ocean and everything and then it's merging from here so it's blending so as you can see we can see the light bleeding inside but sometimes I feel this is too much so we can reduce it but if you check the final comp I think it's looking good but uh, I don't know I will reduce if I want but I just leave it like this so so we covered all the thing the only thing I didn't add in this one is the vignette if I want to add let's add a vignette and let's see how how this will look like so the for the vignette what you can do you can just move everything up and you can add after the lens distortion because if you add before now this uh, that then vignette will also going to stretch i mean affect the lens so we don't need to do that you can add a dot here so you can add a lens distortion lens sorry the vignette here so if i search vignette now i think we have that uh, see we have this ap vignette so you can use this one so vignette is nothing just darkening the corners as you can see but it's too much we don't need that much amount so let's see, reduce the amount maybe 0.2 everything should be subtle as you can see now this is now looking good as you can see now this is before after very subtle or if you don't have that uh, node what you can do you can use your grate and just add your roto and basically you can just take your circle point here and just drag and make a circle like this and you can just basically do that 
but we need invert we know what i we don't want to affect inside we want to affect outside then you can add a blur maybe let's uh 400 400 should work and as you can see we get our vignetting effect and how much you want you can just play around now so i think let's see the point eight we don't need to add too much so now as you can see if i turn this on and off i don't know why it's lagging let's clear the cache and see again this is we have before and after as you can see so just darkening just edges will make a huge difference so this these are the lens effect and we are adding lens effect to just to stimulate the actual uh, camera is doing uh, when you're recording uh, something when you see your video or a photograph in real life so all these things are there but it's very less amount but the grain is uh, you can see the grain easily but the uh, vignetting chromatic aberration softness uh, these things are very less but it's there light trap and lens dirt all these things are there we just need to simulate uh, photography in our output then it will look good otherwise if i just use uh, if i just show you if i don't use then my output will look like this if i don't use glows and lens flare lens dirt and everything then it will not gonna look like this it will look like this so it's very important to you know to add the lens art lens imperfection so we can also call the lens imperfection so this is uh, the quick tutorial i just want to show you the uh, different types of lens effects you can add in your while you are comping these are the things i know so these are the things i am adding in my shot whether it's a full cg or whether it's a a live plate comp so if you are if you are comping any shot any cg in your live plate so you have to check uh, your plate first uh, what do you have what lens effect do you have in your plate and just try to replicate in your cg also so i hope you enjoy and i hope you understand uh, the all these lens effects so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment if you're not understanding something you can also ping me on my discord server i'm always there happy to help you so Again, thank you for watching and we will see you in a very next one. Have a good day.